Hello everyone and welcome to the Big South Park National River and Recreation Area. My name is Daniel, Ranger Daniel, and I'm the Education Specialist here. And today, um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about one of my favorite places in the entire park. A lot of people, when they think of Big South Fork, they picture uh, rock climbing or horseback riding or going down the river on a kayak. But we have a lot of cultural history here, too. And this spot is known as Blue Heron. So this is in McCurry County, Kentucky. And Blue Heron is also known as, uh, you know, it's also Mine 18. But it was a mining camp owned by Stearns Coal Company. Um, and it ran for about 30 years. It started in the mid-1930s. And it ran up until um, the early 1960s. And this part of Kentucky, as all of you guys know, I'm sure, has a very strong history when it comes to coal. <clears throat> but now when you come to Blue Heron, um, it's much different. It's very quiet here. You can hear the river going. <laughs> And it, I find it one of the most peaceful places uh, in the park. But if you had come here um, during the time when this was an active um, mining camp, it would have been quite loud and it would have been much, 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 much different. So people's experience of Blue Heron is different now than, than it would have been. And a lot of people think maybe it's too quiet down here for them. But there's a lot that you can learn about Blue Heron um, by visiting. So obviously we have the site that's open. It's an outdoor museum. Um, you're welcome to walk around and look at different exhibits and that type of thing. But there's also um, stories that are still being told about Blue Heron. And we have events, you know, once a year we have a storytelling event that takes place here. And as you walk through um, Blue Heron, you get kind of a different experience than most national park areas that I've worked at or I've visited. We have um, things called ghost structures here. So where a building would have been, we um, built a building. Um, it's um, iron and metal and it has a metal roof on it and it has open sides. But you can tell by walking around that it would have been where the church was. Um, there is also you know, a ghost structure where the school was where the store was, um, the superintendent's house. Um, there's also several other houses up here that are ghost, stru ghost structures. Um, the shower room is a ghost structure. So those you can walk around and kind of see and figure out what life would have been like. Um, there's exhibits that are put up within the ghost structures every year. Um, but you can also see the tipple. I don't know if you can scan that way, but you can see one of the major things that people notice about Blue Heron when they come is this huge structure that is here that also you can walk across if you're brave and go across um, the river to the other side and this is known as the tipple and this is what you see a lot of photographs of and drawings of when people um, refer to Blue Heron. If you go like to Google or Bing and you, you type in Blue Heron Stearns, Kentucky, you will come up with pictures of this tipple. So this tipple, I love it. It, um, you know, was in really bad shape during the 70s when the park took over here and the park has worked really hard to bring it back. But this is where the trams that carried the coal, very low lying carts that opened at the bottom that would go down into the mines and be pulled out by the electric engine would go on railroad tracks across the tipple the bottom would open and the coal would fall out into the into the tipple and there's several screening areas in there and shakers and things that would um, sort the coal based on size so right now the tipple is pretty much asleep it's very very quiet but it would have been so noisy when the tipple was going and then at the bottom today we still have coal cars that are here that you can walk past and touch and see um, but that's where the coal would have been deposited and then it would have been pulled out of Blue Heron, um, you know, by trains taking it to be processed and sold throughout um, the United States. This part of Kentucky, you know, they were very famous not only, you know, as coal mine, but also because of the quality of coal that came from here. And this pic picture that's behind me, you know, people from this part of McCreary County that have, you know, have relatives and things that have worked at Blue Heron are incredibly proud of these, 
these men that worked here, and rightly so. Um, this is one example of a picture of some of the men that worked at Stern's Coal Company stationed here at Blue Heron, and you can see the tipple that's in the back. It also gives you a good example of what um, they would wear. So they would have their coal mining caps on, their hats. Um, they would also you know, wear their long pants because often they would be crawling within the mine. And they would carry um, their lunch and everything with them as they went, went into the mines. Um, there are several of these pictures. We have, we're lucky because we have a lot of historical pictures of Blue Heron. And a lot of people from here that come for storytelling are descendants of people that are pictured in a lot of these photos, which is interesting. You also can see there's people up on top of the tipple up there, and you can see where the electrical lines would have been. They look like little telephone poles um, that powered the, the little um, motors that pulled the the carts in and out, the tramps in and out of the coal mine. So this is what I'm talking about when I say when you come to Blue Heron, it's a quiet place, but there you can still learn a lot and there's still a lot of stories to be told because you will see throughout the exhibits and the models that are here, the dioramas that are here at Blue Heron, um, a snippet into what one of those stories could possibly be. And this is a good example of that. Um, there's also, when you come to Blue Heron, you can walk up through. There's lots of trails that are here. But you can walk up through and visit some of these ghost structures I talked about. And there's an opening to one of the mines up there that you can look in. We usually have an, an exhibit in the warmer months. We have an exhibit up there that you guys can see. But you'll it gives you a good indication of what um, working conditions would have been here at Stearns. Um, these fellas that were behind me and this picture worked incredibly hard here at Blue Heron. And a lot of people think when they visit us that that was the only mine up there. But actually, quite a few of the mines were on the up other side of the river. So there's trails that lead across the triple. You can walk across the triple. And there's trails that lead over on that side too. So even if you aren't really into history that much, but you're more into um, outdoor recreation and hiking, uh, Blue Heron is still a great place in McCrae County to come and visit um, because there's trails that lead you to some of the most beautiful, I think, overlooks um, in the in Big South Fork. You can come here. Also, it's a great place to put in um, for the water. So the next time you're thinking of something maybe you want to do in an interesting place to visit, I hope that you will think of Blue Heron in Stearns, Kentucky, and come down here and take a visit and come see us. But thank you guys.